The Effect of pH on Enzyme Activity by kscience.com. This graph has rate of reaction along the y-axis and the pH along the x-axis. And you've got enzyme A on this graph here, and you've got enzyme B here. So what is the optimum pH of both of these enzymes? So enzyme A has an optimum pH of pH 2. This is the pH where the rate of reaction is at its highest. Enzyme B has a optimum pH of pH 8. The optimum pH, pH 8. Enzyme A has an optimum pH of pH 2. The optimum pH is where the rate of reaction is at its highest. The optimum pH is the pH where the rate of reaction is at its highest. At its highest. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. So enzyme B's optimum pH is pH 8. This is where the rate of reaction is at its highest. And if you increase or decrease the pH above or below pH 8, then the rate of reaction will decrease. So the rate of reaction decreases above or below pH 8 for enzyme B. If you decrease or increase the pH above or below pH 2 for enzyme A, the rate of reaction will decrease. So the rate of reaction decreases for enzyme A if you increase or decrease the pH above or below pH 2. So at the optimum pH for enzyme B and the optimum pH for enzyme A, which is pH 2, the enzymes are not denatured. So they are not denatured at all. The enzyme's active site has not changed shape. So they are not denatured at all the enzyme's active site has not changed shape. This means the substrate combined the active site of the enzyme, form an enzyme substrate complex, and then break down the substrate into products. And this takes place at the highest rate. So as you increase the pH above pH 8, the enzyme's active site begins to denature, which means it changes shape as you can see here. And if you decrease the pH below the enzyme's optimum, pH, the enzyme's active site will also begin to denature, which means the enzyme's active site changes shape. You see, above and below the optimum pH, the enzyme's active site denatures, it changes shape. And the further away from the enzyme's optimum pH, the more the enzyme denatures, so the more the enzyme's active site changes shape. So if the enzyme's active site denatures slightly, the substrate can still bind the active site of the enzyme, but not as well. Therefore, the breakdown of the substrate into products takes place more slowly. So less product is made, so the rate of reaction is slower. If the enzyme is fully denatured, as we can see here at pH 12, the enzyme is fully denatured, which means the active site of the enzyme has fully changed shape. Therefore, the Substrate cannot bind the enzyme's active site at all, and no product will be produced, so the rate of reaction will be zero. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. So if you increase the pH for enzyme A above or below pH 2, the enzyme's active site will denature. The further away from pH 2 you change the pH, the more the enzyme's active site will denature. And the more the enzyme's active site denatures, the more difficult the substrate will find it to bind the active site, so therefore less product will be formed. So at pH 3 in this example, the enzyme's active site has fully denatured, 
This means the substrate cannot bind the enzyme's active site at all, which means the rate of reaction will be zero. No product will be produced because the enzyme's active site has fully denatured. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. Press pause to practice using those key words. The answers will follow. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes. Press pause to answer the questions. The answers will follow. And if you're stuck, just rewatch the video. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes.